Operation Riverside, capture the flag. God, oh, Jesus, this map is pretty. Oh, yeah, I like the hollow site for the score. I forgot about that. That's probably a good fit for this gun. Man, the base is only 400 meters away. These maps are pretty small. So yeah, this is absolutely not balanced for 64 players. It doesn't take a genius to come to that conclusion. What are these structures on the map over here? Are they the bases of the towers? Is that what I'm looking at? Yeah, they're, they are. Interesting. Well, not the bases, but the towers themselves. How? Okay, map designer. How can there be, like, pine needles and branches and stuff? Maybe there aren't actually any pine needles. It's just branches. On these rocks, there aren't any trees nearby. The trees that are nearby are lower down than the rocks themselves. Texture artist, what are you doing? Or I guess maybe the person who placed the rocks didn't account for them. Going to but here's one that doesn't have the texture. This one doesn't have leaves and crap on it, and it is below a tree. Ah. <laughs> oh. Yeah, so some of the visual design on these maps is not, not, uh, you know, not exactly superb. I need can I? Can, can you go through here? Oh, did I do that? Oh, I did. Oh, cool. You can, hold on. Yeah, okay, you can walk through these. Okay, cool. This is interesting. I suspect that you would be able to... Oh, mortar! Mortar is not a bad idea for CTF. I was I was uh, lamenting mortar kills a while ago, wasn't I? Being like, ah, oh, I'm not looking forward to getting the mortar assignment, but hey, here we go. Here's a good and legitimate use for the mortar. Let, let me just hunker down and take a look at the map. I, I'm not actually even sure where we are. Hmm, it looks from this map that there's a lot more space. Ah, oh, jeez. A lot more space south of the flags than there is north of them. Awesome. You you, you need health? It's not. Oh wait, I'm full up. Oh, huh. oh. oh. Shoot that guy. I noticed, by the way, that next uh, next rank, I get a new dog tag. I'm looking forward to that. I don't even know what that looks like. It's gonna be a while, of course, because gaming levels, now that I've unlocked everything, takes forever to do. Oh, we're up here. Okay, we're north of the flags, right? Need to start recognizing how the map looks. My house? No. Oh, a second door? What? Man, I love nature. See, I just... I want a map that looks like this. From base to base. Just woodland. I know... Okay. Um, I'm sorry, what? Okay. Th uh, I get the impression that some of these maps were really rushed. They play well, from what I can tell. But whoever, you know, the level designer who was in charge of putting down the correct assets in the correct places... Wasn't really paying attention to the overall layout of the what part of the map you were going to play on, was he? This, uh... That's, frankly, a little bit embarrassing. Oh, jeez. Who the hell is complaining about campers in an objective game mode? What are you on about? Oh, Jesus. Hello. Oh, he's also using the M39. Interesting. Freestyler Matt. Ooh, a suppressed M39. That's interesting. Didn't I suggest that I wanted to do that? But he also has the scope on it. That's counterintuitive. Wait a minute. If, if, if the M39 has the highest bullet velocity in the game, does that also imply that... Oh, I can't spawn on anyone, they keep dying. Does that also imply that it doesn't take as much of a hit from being suppressed as the other guns? Or does it mean that it takes more of a hit? Because like in the case of the M98B, if you shove a suppressor on it, it becomes worthless. The M98B's strength is that it... it that one of the primary strengths is its bullet velocity. It has the highest one in the game. But when you put a suppressor on it, it becomes the exact same as if you put a suppressor on any of the other guns. So it, basically, you remove the advantage of the M9AP by suppressing it. It's a bad idea to put a silencer on that thing. Does the same apply to the M39 then? I, I would think it does, so maybe that's not a good idea at all. On the other hand, I am using it as a close quarters weapon, as a suppressor for use for in close quarters. I'm not even sure what I'm doing here. I actually want to go up there and look at the trees again. 
I suspect, I can't say for sure, but I suspect that this particular area is just out of bounds in the in the Conquest version of the map. But maybe not, it doesn't look like it's that far away. They look fine. They still look fine. I still to look a bit, little bit bad. Oh no, oh no, everything looks terrible. Um, you can walk through these even, they're not solid objects. Okay, yeah, it's quite... I think I know what happened here. The level designer needed to put up more trees. He just selected the wrong brush and ended up putting down backdrop trees instead of actual gameplay trees. That's that's the old, that's simply what happened. Or he didn't mean to put them these this close or whatever. It's, it's a simple mistake. It's just really embarrassing that it went through like this and no one thought to point it out and say, Hey, these are also... <laughs> You do not put billboards inside the playable area in a video game in the year 2013. <laughs> oh my god. It's like I'm playing Redneck Rampage or something here. Jesus. <laughs> See, just, just from this distance, like 20 meters away, these trees look, look perfectly fine. But you are not supposed to be able to walk up this close to them. You are absolutely never supposed to be able to walk behind a billboard. On. I think I saw an invisible tree or something. Okay, I'm not. <laughs> Let's not play Capture the Flag. Let's examine the level levels of endgame instead. That's a shame. This map is so pretty, but it apparently was really shoddily done. I'm having a field day though. I love this stuff. And here we see the two different types of background trees. The, oh. the solid billboard tree next to one of these sprite looking trees. I'm not sure what to call them. Oh, this is hilarious. This is awesome. <laughs> oh man, poor level guy. I feel I feel sorry for him now. Whoever put these things out is going to be so embarrassed as soon as people start nitpicking apart these levels and how they look. Wait, I'm 200 meters behind their flag. How the hell does that happen? Here's a big pile of orange leaves and there's not a tree in sight. <laughs> this is awesome. This is hilarious. Oh man, I feel so bad for the for whoever whoever was in charge of putting down these trees. <laughs> oh man, I hope. Well, I don't know. I don't know what I hope. I was gonna say I hope that he patched this or something because that's just frankly embarrassing. But uh, on second hand, maybe I don't because if if they patch a level, they're gonna have to force everyone who owns it to re-download the entire damn thing. And people don't appreciate spontaneous just, oh, we had to fix some graphical issues, so here's a gigabyte patch you have to download. Yay! This is definitely not 64 players, is it? It feels so small. I mean, that's because I'm only on the outskirts of the map now, but... I can definitely see this. This this map can definitely play well in CTF, seeing how much room there, how, how much wiggle room there is to, to run around and be sneaky and create back doors and such. I'm gonna get shot down here. I don't even have a good weapon for close quarters engagements. So if they sneak up on me, I'm screwed. Man, that's embarrassing. And it's also really funny. And it's also I think I like this map. That's what, you know, lo just looking at, just exploring the nooks and crannies and imagining where you can take a dirt bike, where you can plant a spawn. Be I'm actually gonna do that right now. I'm gonna walk, run up there again. I'm t gonna take a bike up there, plant a spawn beacon in the woods, so that my entire squad can watch how can 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 observe the amazingly hilarious billboard trees. Oh man, that's such a shame. Um, there aren't any bikes nearby though. There's one. Like it's, oh, there it is. They're hard to spot, these bikes. Whee! I should be using woodland camo. Hey, someone picked up a flag. That's kind of crazy. Oh! <laughs> Suddenly, I want to play Motocross Madness. Those games were awesome. 
I wonder how loud these bikes are. Like, can they, w will they be able to hear me if I drive up to the backside of their base? Or are they just not gonna suspect anything? I feel sorry for you guys. I think someone got a hit on him with bike though, because now it's smoking and stuff. Maybe I won't take it anymore. Any any farther, any longer, any for more to the whatever. Now, question is, should I try to plant a spawn beacon a bit closer, or should I put it up here when it's where it's less likely to to be, you know, spotted or whatever? I think I'll place it here. Should have put it under a tree or something, because that looks kind of... Bye-bye! <laughs> I don't know where you're going, but I hope you're fun over there. God, yeah, I, I can't wait to play seriously on, on some of these maps. Or, well, this, this one in particular, I really like this layout. But when I get over the whole... I got a hit in. I should have suppressed. Wait, I don't have a suppressor for this weapon. Never mind. I forgot you need to unlock stuff in this game. God, I just love how this looks. Look at this environment. Look, is there anything else in Battlefield 3 that looks like this? I'm just sitting here staring, being like, is that a tree or is it a guy? Is it a shadow or is that a guy? Is it a, is it a bush or is it a guy? I can't tell. And that's a good thing. I like that. Be aware, I've spotted a hostile like, I can, I see so much potential for, for actual, like, tactical play when it comes to, to assaulting this here base. Maybe that also applies for Conquest, I don't really know. I like the iron sights on this gun. They're some of the best iron sights in the whole game. It's weird that the, the actual, you know, front sight are so small, and the rear sight is just this huge-ass circle. It's very strange, but they, they're very good. They're very easy to aim with. The front sight being so skinny is definitely... Definitely it's something that makes it easier to... I should move. He knows I'm here, so I should move. Makes it easier to acquire targets at a distance. I think that's the same guy. He was coming for me, but I didn't know that I moved. So I was looking in the wrong place. This is a really dumb idea, but I'm gonna do it anyway. Because a shining bright soul flam is, is definitely just a, a bullseye waiting to, to be shot, to be zoned in on. God, this could be so cool. If, if the teams were a bit smaller so it was a bit less hectic. Like each team has a couple of squads so that you, you have a chance to, to move up on a squad, with a squad. Uh oh, someone's coming for me. I don't know where the hell he is though. Is he below me? Yeah, he is. He's gonna come around this corner. Yeah. I saw that coming. We would have liked a better weapon in that case. I, I knew I wouldn't be able to stand up to an assault rifle in close quarters combat, but whatever. I think you got my soul farm. Let's kick, because I have a spawn beacon. I'm not fucking around. Oh, okay. Can, can I please return to the combat zone? Please. Oh, thank you. Uh oh. There's someone still here. That's not... That's not a spawn... Okay, please. Please. E, there. Jesus. Maybe I, maybe I can make use of the soul flame after all. I don't know. Eh, probably not. I think it has a pro probably a good chance of... of Lacing some defensive helicopters, but that means I have to sit down and Objective has been taken. and actively man it, and that's not gonna happen. Yeah, I've a Over. And I hate, I hate the knowledge that when I fire, I show up on their minimap. That just ruins everything immediately. Got an enemy tank on the move. He's a big I should swap to like the SKS and put a suppressor on it. 
Or the M417. Do I have the suppressor for the M417? Let's find out. Yes, I do. And a hollow sight. That's that's not bad. Uh, my pot. Nah. Nah. Let's let's go with that. I did not mean to spawn over here. I wanted to spawn over there. Oh well. I also want to put some woodland camo on myself. But oh well. This. See, the, the, what you what you are witnessing right now is a learning process. I'm just figuring out how to potentially play these maps so that when it comes down to it, when I finally sit down and play this and I say, okay, I want to win some CTF games, then I'll know what to do. Oh, cool, we, we scored a point. I have no idea how that happened. Oh, here, here's a hint. Here's some, some dirt bike tracks that you can follow. Uh, I suspect that they might lead to a ramp or something. Oh, yeah, I think it's over there, actually. Maybe? I know there's a ramp somewhere, like jumping over the river. I don't know where it is though. It's not here. Oh well. Huh? Oh, interesting. What? I just want to look at the glowy. Interesting. I, I never really looked at those bullet holes before. Anyway, yeah, learning process. See, this, uh, this is kind of how, how I play a game when, when I'm new to the game, or when the maps are new to me, or whatnot. Man, this is not gonna work. He said, and then hit the very first shot. Never mind. Never mind. I'm better at this than I think I am. And up. God damn it. I've spotted a hostile machine gun in your AO. Over. Shit, there's all kinds of enemies here that I didn't see. Yeah, oh god, I, I love the idea that a suppressor is can actually be super duper useful here. In order to set up, uh, you know, a, a little camp next to the enemy flag. And start picking them off without them instantly knowing where you're at so they can wipe you out. A suppressor is always useful in theory in this game, but there's a lot of cases where, you know, it doesn't really matter if you show up on their main map or not. But in this case, I can definitely see... I'm excited to play more CTF. I hope people stick with it, despite its, its you know, its, uh, its early problems. There's an enemy somewhere behind this hill. I can see him on the minimap. I have no idea where he is, but I can see him on the minimap. Where the hell is he? Oh, here he is. Hello. That's what you get for not using a suppressed weapon. Damn it. Ricardo Vic. I don't know. I don't know if it's coming through, but I'm actually... I mean, I keep saying it, but I don't know if you can tell. But I'm really excited to, to play some of this. Particularly this map and this mode, seriously. I just need this, 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 these first, you know, this first round or two to, to learn what the game mode is about before I actually start playing seriously. It's kind of how I, how I always do it, like I said. And I, I, I think whether they they're aware of it or not, I think most of the people playing right now are going through that exact process. Take your bike, I will ride around on it for half a minute. What are you doing? It's me! I stole the guy's bike. Oh, I'll follow this guy around. Never mind, he can't drive. <laughs> oh no, no, no. Whee! Oh my god. Oh my gosh. And stuff like this. I, I kind of want to just drive around. If, the, if this game had like an offline practice mode, I would just drive around on this map. On each of these maps for like five minutes. Because I know for a fact that, you know, they have they have specific paths for the dirt bikes to take. And I want to explore and find those paths. And the only way to really do that is to, is to explore with your bike. Just drive around and see what happens. 
Like, this could be a ramp. I don't know. Is it? No, not really. It takes me into the water. Is it deep enough to drive through? It's... Well... Is it shallow enough to drive through? I suppose is the grammatically correct thing. And yes, it was. Learning. Learning process. Learning. Next uh, map is going... Oh, wait. I've played all the maps on CTF now, haven't I? Didn't I promise I was going to switch to air superiority th then? Hmm. I got a foregrip. Um, it also occurred to me that I should check out Rush on each of these four maps, because Rush is still in some parts of popular game mode and it's definitely a valid one. It totally exists. So I'm going to have to <laughs> play one of these on, all of these four on Rush as well at some point. It's what I've been doing so far. Also, just look, look at this. I get a Colonel Survey Star 5 uh, dog tag in like an hour of gameplay. That's, uh, an hour, really? That's more like five <laughs> the rate I progress. Um, I'm gonna see if I can find an air superiority server. Let's see how that works.